look as complicated as the necklace. Um, what do you start with first? Do you start with characters? Do you start with story? Mm -hmm. Do you start with setting? Do you start with an era? I mean, I started with the 20s and I started with Ambrose's character. Um, I knew I kind of wanted this dashing, romantic kind of take a big chunk out of life character who felt hemmed in by his uh, family, the expectations put on him, and his seat of privilege. So that was kind of where I started, and I really wrote the majority, I think, of the 1920s story first. Um, and then when I wrote the modern story, I started with now as well. So, yeah, so I'd say character is where I start. And Ambrose, or at least his trip, was pretty mm. closely tied to a historical figure. Stone right, Mathers. to uh, Amasis Stone Mathers, a uh, grand trip around the world that he took in 1907. So he traveled all through Africa and Asia and shot hundreds of animals. And, um, and I read his travel diary and his travel letters from that time. And they gave me a good source of material for how um, this character would be thinking. Well, I think looking at the, a life of wealth or privilege, I mean, it's the American dream, it's what a lot of people aspire to, but there's certainly dark aspects to it and aspects that are less than ideal. And I think it's an interesting prism uh, for looking at people's personalities. I wrote most of the 20s first, and then I wrote the modern story, and then I actually had them on the floor um, in my room, uh, piecing them together. Uh, to try and get the chapters to line up. And then I had to go back and do a lot of rewriting around the seams to make sure it all hung together. But I think I mostly enjoyed writing the 20s the most, just to be in that other era a little bit and think that way. I mean, my favorite part of writing is when you're in flow and when kind of time stands still. And I think thinking about another era is, is an effective tool for, for getting into that state. I think the most fun to research, obviously, was the lifestyle of the 20s. And I was at the Historical Society here in Cleveland, and I was researching. Um, they were nice enough to provide me these boxes of town topics and the bystander, which were like the People Magazine and Us Weekly of 1920s society, Cleveland. And looking into the into those magazines was fascinating. Um, what they were concerned about, the parties, the engagement um, announcements. Okay.